Patricia Dewi Angredi, a gynecologist from MMC Hospital. Morning, Dr. Angi. Thank you so much for joining us. The prevalence of the cervical cancer in Indonesia is still at the first rank of the gynecology cancer. So, uh, if in our hospital has a kind of five uh, five thousand uh, five hundred uh, patients, uh, eighty five percent are the cervical cancer. So uh, most 85% patients from the gynecological cancer are cervical cancer and most of the patients uh, came in advanced stage, stage 2B and 3B. Well, early stage cervical cancer uh, generally produces no sign and symptoms. And most of the signs and symptoms come in advanced stage. So uh, usually they'll come with complaint of uh, vaginal bleeding after sexual intercourse or uh, intermenstrual bleeding or the bleeding uh, between the period or the bleeding after the menopause. Sometimes they don't come with the chief complaint of the bleeding, but they come with the chief complaint of the odorous watery vaginal discharge. Uh, pelvic pain or pain during sexual intercourse. Those are most common uh, signs and symptoms. But remember, in the early state, there is no sign and symptom. So you should be careful and do regular gynecological examination. Cervical cancer, 99% are linked to uh, the infection of the human papilloma virus, or we call it HPV. Right. Uh, yes, yes. Although this uh, HPV infection will resolve spontaneously and uh, do not cause any symptom, but the persistent infection will lead to the cervical cancer. Because of the infection, because of the cause of the infection, actually the cervical cancer is not... Uh, urinary gynecological cancer or related to familial cancer. Hence, actually, the cervical cancer is preventable disease. But unfortunately, as I already mentioned it before, that even though this is preventable disease, preventable cancer, yeah. that the incidence of the cervical cancer is still at the first rank of uh, in the gynecology cancer in Indonesia and most of the patients came in at one stage. That this is preventable disease. Why this is preventable disease? Because this cancer actually grows slowly. Mm. So from the infection, it's not directly changed into cervical cancer. Right. So after the infection, uh, we have the incubation phase. Uh, when uh, once the the virus enter the body, uh, and will take a. Uh, about 12 to 20 months to develop precancer lesion, mm. not cervical cancer. Is right. this uh, cervical cancer? Not. This is precancer lesion. Right. In this precancer lesion, we can do the prevention, such as do the pap smear test, mm. VIA test, mm. SPV DNA type test, typing mm. test. Mm. So it was a secondary prevention. So it means what is the secondary prevention? Mm. When you are at least for having this SPV infection. So it means that you are already uh, sexually active, yes. that you can do the secondary screening. And in this situation, it's curable disease. It will be cured 100%. Wow. The problem, the coverage of the uh, cancer lesion screening in Indonesia is very low. Sometimes it's not related to the society, uh, social economy or educational level. The women just do not want to come and do the examination. That mm -hmm. is the problem. The WHO said that to decrease um, cervical cancer, that you should um, the coverage rate of the screening should be up to 80 percent. Right. In Indonesia, only eight to ten percent. Right. So that is the problem. 
And then uh, once you are diagnosed for having this reconciliation, yeah. what does it mean? It means that if uh, it is not properly treated, that it will lead to cervical cancer within three to 70 months. So it's wow. quite so long. It's not changed uh, in the short period of time. Right. And as you, yes, you are right. To reduce the incidence of the cervical cancer, you by doing the screening as a secondary prevention, mm. and also uh, combination in combination receiving a vaccine mm, mm. that protects against HPV yes. infection, especially high risk type, type 16 and 18. Yes also will uh, increase the chance for you not to getting this uh, cervical cancer.